After three men overdose in his apartment, Democratic donor Ed Buck is in custody this morning. He faces felony drug charges. CBS 2's Tina Patel is live in West Hollywood with the details. Tina? Good morning. People in this neighborhood are surprised but relieved to hear about Ed Buck being arrested. Prosecutors say he was using his home here as a drug den. Take a look at this video. It shows the 65-year-old being led away by sheriff's deputies in handcuffs. The prominent Democratic donor has lived here for years, and investigators spent hours taking evidence out of his home last night. Now, in court documents, the 65-year-old is called a violent sexual predator who used his status is to lure vulnerable men to his apartment and then force him to take part in his sexual fetishes. He's accused of injecting a 37-year-old man with meth last week. That man had to be taken to the hospital for overdosing, but he survived. Two other men passed away in Buck's West Hollywood apartment in the last couple years. Jamel Moore and Timothy Dean both died of overdoses. Here's what a man who lives in the area and knew Buck's history said when we told him about this arrest. I'm just so surprised to see that he actually is behind bars or whatever the deal is. I, don't, I can't see him getting away with it this time, whatever it was that happened. Three times, three strikes, and you're out. Now, Buck is facing several felony charges. Prosecutors are recommending that his bail be set at $4 million. He is due in court later on this morning.